In this video, we cover how to use our graphics display calculator to solve equations using a function in the calculator called numerical solve or nSolve for short. Now this is a very, very useful skill across the AI course. Um, it appears in a range of different topics such as uh, topic two and also calculus in topic five, but especially important in topic two. In topic two, we encounter a range of different functions such as um, exponential functions like example one here, logarithmic functions, uh, trig functions, quadratic functions, cubic functions, and to have this skill handy um, becomes very useful because otherwise if we had to solve everything by hand, uh, it might take a lot of time. Um, we may, uh, some of them might be quite complex. So to know how to use numerical solve is very useful. Now I have two examples here on the left-hand side to demonstrate how to do this on the calculator. The first one here is an, is, a, uh, is an exponential function and the second one here is a logarithmic function. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so we have an exponential function that represents the population of hamsters. Um, in prior parts of the question, let's assume that we found out that B is equal to 1.24. So B here is 1.24. And our question here is to solve for time when the population is equal to 2000. So in other words, how long did it take for the population P to reach 2000? So if I was to substitute this value in, my equation would now look like this. It would be 2000 is equal to 50 multiplied by, and again, just to um, just to recap in prior parts, let's assume that we found out that the B value is 1.24. So 1.24 to the power of T. So now we need to solve for T. And this looks a little bit complicated. I mean, we could use logarithms and that, that actually wouldn't be too bad. Um, but we can solve this pretty easy and quickly using numerical solve on our calculator. So let's go ahead and show that process. We have one equation and one unknown, so therefore we can use numerical solve, assuming that there is a solution. So let's go ahead. We find it in menu, number three, algebra, number one, numerical solve. And then we just enter this equation in directly. So it's 2000 is equal to 50 multiplied by 1.24 to the power of t. Now we need to tell the calculator what to solve this equation for. So we put comma t, then hit enter, and then we get the solution there. So t is equal to 17.15, let's just say, to two decimal places, when the population of hamsters is 2,000. Actually, I will leave it to three significant figures. That's good practice for IB, so 17.1. And we can say here afterwards, if you want to demonstrate how, you can say using GDC. Let's try the second example now. This is a logarithmic function. So we have a log function here that represents the sound intensity level D can be modeled by the function. This is the function here where I is the sound intensity. So we want to find what capital I is when D, the sound intensity level, is equal to 124. So let's substitute that in. It'll be 124 equals 10 log base 10 of capital I, we don't know what that is yet, we're trying to find that out, plus 120. Now this here, this equation, one equation, one unknown, is quite difficult to solve for i, but we can use numerical solve to find this very quickly and easily. And then we can move on to actually answering the parts in the question, uh, the following parts. So let's go ahead and use numerical solve. We go menu, number three, algebra, number one, numerical solve. Again, let's enter this equation indirectly. So 124 is equal to 10 log base 10 of, um, I'm just gonna put, I, can't put capital I, uh, plus 120. Again, we need, to uh, we need to tell the calculator what to solve for. So we put comma I, hit enter, and we get a I value of 2.51. And again, we can say using GDC. So you can see there that this um, this function in the calculator is very, very useful to solve a questions, uh, solve questions quickly and accurately. I just wanna to touch on one um, consideration when using nSolve, and that is that the calculator will always provide you with the left-hand solution. So what does that mean? This first one is an exponential function. It looks like this. 
and this was my, say, um, solution that I wanted to find. Now, there was only one solution here, so that was fine. I didn't have to worry about it. Likewise, for the second function, log function looks something like this. Again, this might have been my solution, only one solution. But if I have, say, a quadratic function that looks like this, for a given function value, I might actually have two solutions here, this one and this one. And numerical solve will only give one and will only give the left-hand one. So another example of that could be, say, a cubic might have three and it only gives the left-hand one. So just be careful with that. Um, if you think there are multiple solutions, I recommend probably plotting it in the calculator and then using analysis tools, the intersection analysis tools to actually find the coordinates of the intersection that you're interested in. And there is a video in this video series called Plotting Functions and Analysis Tools. It'll demonstrate how to do that. So just be careful about that constraint with numerical solve. But that concludes our video on using numerical solve to solve equations using our graphics display calculator.